Why, hello. I didn't see you standing there. Today's the day. We're gonna show you the camping hacks video and how we made this Ford Ranger into our little camping machine. I know a lot of you have been interested in what we did and it wasn't like a crazy expensive adventure. Uh, we had limited tooling and we made something pretty awesome and easy. We do everything kind of last minute, so it's kind of nice for us to be able to just go and have everything ready. So let's show you what we have going on. What we have here, we have these curtains. These were just, this was just fabric we got from Walmart that Monica had sewn. And what we did was we found where the actual screws were on the camper shell. And I made these mounts, these brackets, on the top and the bottom on each side so that uh, we could get this paracord, is that what that is? through and then we just have a hook in the middle that makes it so that this can rest on it and then we have curtains which is great so that we don't feel like we're in a fish tank and so that we can block out some of the sunlight and they're kind of warmer curtains so when it's super cold out it kind of I think blocks some of the, the cold a tiny tiny bit they were super simple and if you don't have a sewing machine the best thing to do is go to Walmart and grab some shower curtains because they already have the space for the rod to run through and that's actually what we did for this curtain we have another curtain up here so this one is just like a blackout shade because i was too lazy to sew more curtains and we've got like a little half inch shower rod and that's perfect and it's made such a difference just to add that and it's so simple that whole assembly cost us what like 10 bucks yeah probably yeah like for nothing. sure so pretty cool pretty easy and you can do that on all the windows so now let's move into um, the actual how we built the wood thing and how the storage works with that so we have one really long uh, space in the middle that goes down the middle and then that's where we have like our main rubber made drawers that we can pull out and put on a table and work out of when we go camping then the others are kind of like miscellaneous space stuff where we keep like tools or chairs or whatever depending on how we're going camping so we can when we stack stuff in we put it up here and then we have our standard stuff that's always ready for camping like cooking utensils and stuff that all slides in drawers under this that we can pull out and put on a picnic table or do whatever we do with all right so this box is basically what stays in the truck at all times. It's our non-perishables, and it's so that I don't have to repack every single time I go camping, and it makes us more motivated to go on outings because it's so simple. This just has things that I don't want to forget, like knives, paper towels, aluminum foil, emergency top ramen in case I mess up the camping lasagna, um, hot cider and hot cocoa, our headlamps, which you see in like every video on my head, and just little things, bug spray, first aid kit. Sometimes we even use uh, tap lights when we're in the car at night because they're really like a nice diffused light, but it's enough to see if you are just trying to move stuff around and find the blankets in the middle of the night. So we've also got tools. I think this just has like lighters and things like that in it. Bottle openers, the necessities, I guess, playing cards. And um, this box just works out really well because it never leaves and we don't forget anything. The only thing it doesn't have um, is basically pots and pans and our propane and our little grill. So we know to bring that stuff, but other than that, you don't really need much more than this and a lantern, but it's great. It just stays in here always. It's light, fits in a bear box if you're in a national park. Works out for us. So this is how we kind of have that set up. I feel like it's similar to a lot of solutions that people have done. There are definitely more elaborate versions and there are less elaborate versions. We went with what we needed the space for. We had to make the middle storage space so that we could um, fit a whole surfboard in there, but then also store stuff. So the drawer solution wasn't gonna work for us like if we built in wood drawers. So this is how we did it. So if anyone wants to know how this is made, basically it was under a hundred bucks. We did it in like an hour. And it's a big piece of plywood on top of all of these little runners, which are like two by eight. And these beams basically go all the way through to the back. So they make little compartments. 
and then there's also some little cross beams in here that are about a half inch thick just for some extra support because we can freaking lay on it and we don't want to fall through. But we didn't want them to be any thicker because we didn't want to interfere with the space. But essentially, this has worked out awesome and we just picked up some carpet from Home Depot at the same time. It was like it was, 20 bucks tops. Yeah, carpet. it was like nothing. So we just uh, stapled that down. Otherwise, everything else is screwed down. But it's been so great and we haven't had any issues with it and it's comfy enough to put our little sleeping bags down and sleep on and it's durable. And with the way we did it, we could slide the whole thing out and back in if we ever need to. Oh so yeah, this we, whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, if we need extra space, it, the whole thing just slides out. So nothing's too intrusive or too over the top, but it, it really serves its function. We're also using the actual wheel well as a little bit of support, but it's not really much. It's just that's where the measurement kind of started with was the wheel well, and then everything worked from there. But I fit perfect in it. It works out pretty well. So I, I mean. I don't feel like uncomfortable by any means. I'm too tall for it. She's too tall for it at 5'5". Five, five. Five, five, but 5'11 I fit, so I don't know how that works. It's just women, right? <laughs> okay, so this thing is our mattress. We got it for $33 at Walmart, and it's a three-panel padding system. We'll show you how it works. It just folds out. Literally pretty much the perfect size. We put our sheet around it and then sleeping bags or whatever we need depending on how cold or warm it is and have an actual full-blown bed situation. Not too shabby. We have a light in here. Turns on, turns off. Trust me, it ends up being a lot better than sleeping in a tent. <laughs> Pretty rad. So this is our little thing. So one of the most life-changing things ever, Monica got this for me for my, uh, for Christmas, for a Christmas present. Actually, two things she got me for a Christmas present I'm about to show you, but one, it's just such a lifesaver. It's a little portable shower. We use it for spraying off our feet that are sandy after surfing. We use it to clean dishes. We use it to just wash our, my beard out after uh, brushing my teeth when we're camping. We use it for everything. It's so nice and it's right here. It stays right back here in the back of the truck. It's got a pretty long cord. There's not much water in there, but... I think it sprays a lot better than that, but... I need to add water. You get the gist. It's really nice, honestly, super nice. So the other thing is, is this wetsuit dryer Monica got me for Christmas as well. And you have to plug it into a, a, like a wall plug. You can't plug it into the car unless you get a converter, but it's kind of a life changer. We have the converter for the cigarette lighter and it is super nice. You don't have to surf the next day in a half wet wetsuit. It's awesome. Great, or the day of, it can dry in a couple hours, so. All right, so that's it. That's how we made the Ford Ranger. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully it's something that maybe if you're interested in, you got a little bit of information on how to do it for yourself. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you guys have some other ideas too, us and for anybody else watching we'd love to hear it yeah any information for camping or even cool spots that you think are worth checking out let us know we're down to check it out we're down to uh share the uh ideas subscribe leave some comments anything else Time to go camp. all right have fun see you out there bye